Hello to all my patrons, I'm back again with another video here. And we're on our funny pics, that is Reddit funny pics. So these are supposed to be hilarious pictures. I will of course rate them. <laughs> rate them from 1 to 5 to see which is the most funniest. And we will see. Thank you to everybody of course that supports my channel and I'll be reading out the comments to the last video at the end of this one just want to point out that um, we will be doing 20 of these and let me know what you think in the comment section did you think any of them were funny or or whatever you like you can talk about anything at all okay well let's just get right into it <laughs> and I don't know <laughs> I don't know about this uh, side I'll tell you why it's called Reddit Funny Picks, but it only has 7,000 subscribers and there's 8 people online at the moment. So you're not going to get very many upvotes. However, in choosing the site that's got less subscribers, there isn't any um, incentive for it to be brigaded, you know, or people to show up with numerous amounts of bots in order to get it on the front page. So it's kind of a toss up really. But let's see how this goes. This has three upvotes here. What is it? There's a raccoon outside. Must be a burglar. <laughs> He's wearing a mask. Well, it's like something your grandma might say or your granddad. And uh, <laughs> just in conversation, I don't know <laughs> if it's good enough to be put into a meme. Of course, one means it's hilarious. Oh, well, it's funny. Okay, I find it funny and I actually laugh at it. Five means it's hilarious that you almost can't breathe. This, of course, gets a zero. So let's keep on going here. What's this one? LOL. Okay, so what they've done is they've painted Donald Trump with a red face and then another one like he's uh, got a certain haircut. This got one up vote, by the way. <laughs> I mean, it's the other seven people on here didn't think it was funny either. Because <laughs> what's funny about that? Am I out of the loop on that one? You can tell we're going to get through these too fast because they're not even interesting enough to talk about. <laughs> well, let's go to number three here. By the way, I failed in my raw food diet, but I start again tomorrow. It was hard, it was really difficult, um, but I'm going to start again tomorrow. I got all of the stuff I need now. So I got these little packets of like stuff you put in your juicer. I don't have a juicer, I have a blender. And I got some bananas and stuff. I found myself ill-equipped <laughs> in my first attempt, I'll put it that way. Okay, so here we are on number threes. Number three. Hose be like, how do I turn this emotional baggage into cold hard cash? It got 17 upvotes. <laughs> okay, I know what I say, but this place only has like a few thousand. So let's have a look. Is there a rest of the picture? Oh, okay, there is. There's, there's more to the picture. So I've got to like check to see. This is number three here. Cold, how do I turn this emotional baggage into cold hard cash? She is crying, okay, and then it has a screen cap from Fox. Young people sharing explicit content for cash on premium Snapchat accounts. Well, it's not funny, it's sad. Really sad, this world is just full of sadness, I mean, you know. Whatever happened to the, go the promise of the golden fields and the summer wine and the gates, the white picket fences and the neighbors? You didn't have to earn a lot of money. In fact, they could all be poor, but what happens is they're all good-natured and you can leave your keys in the car. Isn't that what really means something? You live in a neighborhood where everyone you know, supports each other and stuff. Whatever happened to that world? Well, it's 2018. The social justice warriors control everything. Number four, it's the millennials actually. This picture here, there doesn't seem to be C full image, so I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah, why not? I'm not gay, but $20 is $20. Whatever. What is that? Number four? 
zero. Okay, all of these are zero. If I don't mention the rating, it's zero. So that's number four, and that is zero. I mean, there's a picture of a funny T-shirt with someone. Let me ha let me show you how this works. He gets this T-shirt, okay, and then they say, okay, set up the camera, turn around, and I'll hold some money in the hand and I'll tap you on the shoulder. And they take the photo. Probably that would take about 15, 10 minutes to organize, I guess. They took a number of photos. Most of the photos you'll never see, they're just lost on someone's hard drive. You know, it's where the face wasn't correct or he did what didn't look turned around properly or the lighting wasn't correct. So, and then they uh, put this in a Photoshop and they spend another 15, 20 minutes making this little arrow here to say to be continued. It's 30 minutes of their lives, maybe an hour. And they're posted on Facebook. And everyone says, it's so funny. Not me. Okay, I'm not on Facebook anyway. Apart from the numerous dummy accounts I don't even remember the passwords to anymore. <laughs> Floating around like ghost ships in the ether. In the Facebook ether. Zero for that. That is a zero. Five. There's not even anything promoted on here. Why? Because there's not enough subscribers to put ads on. Another good thing about these smaller... I might go on a Reddit treasure hunt. Okay? Now that's five, is it? One, two, yes. That is... Oh no, it's one, two, three, four. Okay, we're on five now. Downloading became easy. Okay, so this person's downloading. Uh, and then he has an idea. Then he says gravity, and he uh, turns over the monitor, and it goes complete. <clears throat> That's probably to make this to draw it and stuff, you know, because obviously it's hand drawn. They got the all the stuff. I'd say about a few hours actually. I'd say that would be about two hours of someone's life. Zero. Okay, it's a zero out of ten. When you work in tech support for number six, when you work in a technical support provider and the user says that try to turn on and off. Okay, it's quite humorless. It says that try to turn on and off. Okay, it's, it doesn't look like that. When you work in a technical support provider and the user says that tried to turn on and off, that they tried to turn it on and off supposed to be a, a, apparently okay it's uh it means i guess that um actually i thought it was uh i thought the joke was different that's why i had a little chuckle i actually thought that the joke was about the fact that um you know you know where's the on button i don't know how to turn it on and off you know so it was something like if you work, you know, you're working on tech, you're working in technical support, and the person on the other side says, "Where is the on button? Or how do you turn it? How do you turn it on and off?" Because it, then it'd make you sweat because you understand you're dealing with someone that has no ability. But that's not actually the uh, joke at all. Uh, so, so that's number six anyway. I don't really get it now. Okay, that is number six. Number seven here, Onion Hat. It's actually a famous painting, I believe that is, except that what they've done is they've put it through a number of filters, I think. A Turkish painting or some kind, I don't know, I think, I'm not sure. Onion Hat, three upvotes. Um, yeah, that isn't funny at all. Okay. It's like getting a picture of a potato or something and saying meteor. <laughs> you know, look, it's a picture of a meteor's coming. Okay, I've got how to construct a joke. You get the potato. Okay, you get the potato and then you put a black background on it, like some black cardboard or whatever, and then you put the potato in the middle and then uh, you just say meteor impact. Would that be funny? No, because that's not how sense of humor works. Sense of humor really works 
by a combination of information in an unusual pattern, in a certain kind of pattern, to make it funny. That's not funny, okay? That's not funny at all. Number eight, my cousin was lucky enough to capture this picture. Okay, so what is this? It's, is it two animals combined or something? Or it makes it look like there's two animals. Well, we're going to have to blow this up, I guess. Let's try blowing this up. No, it actually looks like some kind of Siamese uh, twin animal. Or is it an optical illusion? My cousin was lucky enough to capture this picture. I, I'm guessing by the headline it means that it's a combination of two animals that look like they are in a Siamese twin position, but in actual fact they're not. It's just an optical illusion due to the closeness of them. But why it's not funny is there's no after pics or anything. Not that it would be anyway. Not that it would be. Is it a Siamese twin? I don't know. Okay, the picture's not big enough. <laughs> That's another classic. The joke relies on you being able to see the picture, but that is actually at 100% on my browser. Would you believe that? It's 100% on my browser. I can't see the picture. Okay? I can't see the picture. Okay, so that's 8, right? Must be. 9. The if it ain't. Okay. So this has... Pow wins stash sauna and then a swear word a curse word and then ddme and it says the swear word here is not a valid word the if it ain't well it's not a valid word uh on in scrabble because it's not actually uh you know it's like a curse word or something right that's eight hilarious no not hilarious <laughs> <laughs> it's not hilarious at all. Remember Seinfeld? One of my subscribers played that great, uh, put in that great funny uh, Seinfeld clip. And I ended up after that, I was watching like 10 of them. And I was laughing. I was chuckling. I wasn't like hilarious. I mean, because you know, I've seen hilarious things, but it was humorous to me. I could watch the whole series again. It was very funny. And I was watching and I was going, and then I, then I sat back in my chair, okay? And I put my hand underneath my chin. And I was lost in thought a moment because I thought, whatever happened to us, the sense of humor in this world? Sure, you've got Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's pretty much the same people, that's Larry David who was behind Seinfeld. And then I was saying, apart from Curb Your Enthusiasm and a few South Park episodes, what's really funny now? It's nothing's funny. Because they don't have any sense of humor in Hollywood anymore. Of course, if you're transfixed on identity politics and you're just a bunch of communists, it's really hard to have a sense of humor. You see everything, the harm in everything, the victimization and everything. There's no jokes if you can't make fun of like half the stuff in the world. Okay, let's go to number 10. I think we're on number 10 anyway. When a girl finally decides to tell you what's wrong. Um, I guess this is regarding relationships when there's so many things wrong. Your partner actually decides to talk about it, but only re when it reaches an apex point. Is it funny? No. You know, I shouldn't be too hard on this, but it does have funny pics on the title. It's pretty hard to find a funny pic though. You can't really say much in uh, a picture, right? There's, it's not really anything that you can say that's... I have laughed at a picture before hysterically. So it's possible. But it was meant to be a funny picture. Uh, but it took a while for it to absorb into me before I got the joke. So I get the uh, architecture of the joke. I just don't find it funny. Eleven. When you, your self-consciousness is too much. Okay, so what's happening here is it looks like some kind of like protest and the woman is putting her lipstick in the, um, doing her lipstick in the reflection of the shield. Of course, this is a complete and utter 
you know, it's uh, they're doing it on purpose in order to, um, you know, being to to do it. I mean, obviously they have the picture taken, etc. It's on, it's all on purpose. Um, but it's not funny. I mean, it's just a picture. Um, look at these. Look at the policemen these days. They have nothing against policemen, but they all look like something out of 1984 or something. 12. <coughs> Excuse me. When you want to get in your room. No idea. Missed the boat on that one. I have no idea what that's even supposed to mean. When I look at that, I'm reminding of, reminded for some way of the Smurfs and Gargamel. For some reason, I don't know what it is. Strange, some strange neuro connection from way back. It's like when it's raining, sometimes you get reminded of some kind of old memory. You know. I don't know what that means. It's not funny at all. 13 here. We're going through these so fast because they're just when there's there's nothing to you know when something has no there's really little about it that's interesting is when there's nothing left to say about it. Like you look at it, and there's just nothing to say. There's no sense of humor. There's no information. You're not interested in it. Okay, this is thirteen. Apparently, I don't even know. Walking in the warehouse, minding your own business, and walking in the warehouse and minding your own business, and am I missing something here? I don't know what that says. It's a glove. That's a glove, and there's no comments on it. This is a troll. Maybe it's possibly a troll or it's some kind of sophisticated postmodernistic kind of like, well, nihilistic piece of art. You look you're supposed to find some inner meaning into it. But what you don't find is anything funny. Here's a, here's some kind of dirty picture it looks like. Okay, I'll skip this one. Oh, is it not? My five year old was suspended for drawing Batman throwing confetti. Ah, right. I was gonna skip that. I don't know what it looked like, something, but I don't. Batman throwing. I don't know. Had a laugh at this one. Okay, let's blow this up. Sorry for that picture. I was supposed to skip it, but then it tricked me and it said it was um, an optical illusion. Not that then. Not that I'm a Puritan or anything. Don't get me wrong. I'm not a Puritan. It's just that. I don't know. <laughs> you know, doing this, um, you either get some laughs or you start kind of like getting a migraine. You start getting a migraine sometimes. I don't have a migraine. I pretty much never have headaches. I don't know why. Had to laugh at this one. Had to laugh. What's your picture? You can't see without laughing. FML. Had to laugh at this one, smiley face. Zero up votes. <laughs> You're the only one laughing, it looks like. What's what's your picture? You can't... Look, I shouldn't be down on these people. There's nothing wrong with, you know, like... If you think something's funny, trying to share it with others. And trying to share the humor and make other people laugh. It's not their fault. It's me, you see. Because I have a very weird sense of humor. Okay, and I don't understand all the kind of intricacies of um, internet culture, so to speak. So I don't understand what FML means. I don't understand that. I don't spend all my time on the chans. Sure, I've been to 4chan for research purposes now and then. But I'm not like, I'm not up on all the lingo. What's your picture you can't see without laughing? And then this. What's your picture you can't see without laughing? What is that? Okay, someone's tried to... Well, let's discuss what's happening in the picture. Someone's tried to put sea salt onto their curly fries. 
and they've accidentally knocked the packet over so now they've got all the salt on them hilarious okay now they can't eat them that's what's so funny <sighs> Okay, so we're at 16. Are we at 16? We must be. I'm sorry, but this is Manjubai. I'm guessing by the name it looks Japanese, some kind of anime character. Wild guess. I don't know. Yeah, and these are the eyes, and this is the mouth. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, this... It is uh, probably humorous for people that have seen the cartoon. I haven't, though. I'm just guessing. Is it a cartoon? Well, let's have a look. Hold on. <laughs> Back on second. <laughs> okay, so after an initial look, this is the character that's been referred to. And it's a character out of a TV series called Dragon Ball Z, I believe. So that's supposed to represent that. It doesn't look anything like him. I thought it would be more of a different kind of character. 17. I don't always eat my own poo, but when I do, I throw it up on your couch. <coughs> well, there you go. This is 18. Uh, um, when a friend comes to your house for the first time... Okay. When he comes to your house the hundredth time, he's in the fridge. So when he's well behaved the first time and then uh, the thousand, hundredth time he's all in your fridge and stuff. See so what they've done here is they've taken, um, what's that, you know, they've taken, the, you know, probably behavior that exists in our world. <laughs> and then they've put dogs in their place. And that's humor. Well, you could put like, you no know, cats in their place. You could have a well-groomed cat and then a cat in the fridge. Or whatever, right. 18. So true. And this is Gollum out of Lord of the Rings. Threading a needle. What does that even mean? What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? I don't know. Couple more. I couldn't stop saying it and made me giggle in my seat. Long time lurker, first post. Please be nice. Ugh. Texas. And there's a car there. Let's see if we blow it up if there's same cars in the picture. Because, no. Well, I mean, some people get the joke, not me. You got five upvotes, you know. But I, I just don't understand what that's supposed to mean. Maybe someone could explain it to me. What makes it weird is that he's drawing the person picking his nose instead of the woman, I guess. Um, well, is that really funny? Looks like he's been pleasured by, um, Patrick Stewart. Ugly drummer, no problem. Lose him with our fog machines. That's it, I can't, I can't literally take any more. My wife bought a new toy do toy for our dog. It's a bone. Plastic bone. Uh, the nephew's last crash. Is this a gif? No, it's an actual picture. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening here. Be, be the grass you want to see in the world. This is wheat grass, of course. It looks like it. I saw this boat in half. Don't get it. Which one is stronger? With great power comes great responsibility. Well, he's doing that to keep out the eggs from falling out the back, no doubt. <coughs> Be a hard job. Once you go black, 
Yeah. You know someone somewhere did. No, I don't know. Warning, do not operate this vehicle with sunshade installed. That's all I can take. My potato chip is not happy with its fate. Okay. When someone touches your neck. I don't understand what that means. Someone touches your neck. It has related to a dump truck. I guess because people curve in a bit with their neck, right? Uh, we've got a sore neck at the moment, so. Anyway, let's jump over to some Patreon Q&As here. We've got three questions, so not that many, really. Might as well get them through all done. Hi, Ed. Your video before this one, you read my comment about Seinfeld and played the clip. Knowing that you both like Seinfeld and conspiracies, I felt obliged to share my favorite Seinfeld bit, the magic Lod loogie. The official story was so ridiculous that even the mainstream programs mocked it, but that was in 1992. In 2008, the mainstream media is now Newman. <laughs> it is. Perhaps you can share this and some info about the magic bullet theory regarding JFK. Well, I don't know. I mean, the magic bullet theory, I mean, it, it's not a reasonable... I mean, when they say the bullet bounced around everything and, you know, caused these wounds, um, uh, not a, no one really takes that seriously anymore. There's probably two, three gunmen. Um... Lee Harvey Oswald was a CIA asset. It's complex because Lee Harvey Oswald was actually, there was a Lee Harvey Oswald who was named the same as Lee Harvey Oswald, referred to as an asset, but he was from Cuba. It was a different person. So, I don't, excuse me, I don't know what's going on there. Let's take a look at this video though. So we have a look at a little bit of this here, but I won't play all of it because, you know, I'll get copyrighted. Not that it makes any difference. I guess it's not monetized. They still hey, get destroyed. So I have to reroute the audio. I will be back in one second here. Okay, we have a little look here. Uh, it's too busy. Impression on him. You're not being yourself. What guy? I know he's just a guy, but I really liked him. <laughs> Who are you talking about? Uh, it's Keith uh, Hernandez. Keith Hernandez? <laughs> Keith Hernandez? <laughs> Hello, Newman. I hate Keith Hernandez. Hate him. I despise him. <laughs> why? I'll tell you why. No, let me tell. No, you can't tell. You I'll... always tell it. All right, tell it. Just tell it. <laughs> June 14th, 1987. Mets, Phillies, were enjoying a beautiful afternoon in the right field stands when a crucial Hernandez error opens the door to a five-run Phillies ninth, cost the Mets the game. Our day was ruined. <laughs> there was a lot of people, you know, they're waiting by the players' parking lot. Now, we're coming down the ramp. Newman was in front of me. Hernandez was coming toward us. As he passes us, Newman turns and says, Nice game, pretty boy. <laughs> I, get, I get why they talked about the JFK magic bullet connection. I thought that was a separate question. Sorry, I just had a bit of my dinner there while I was listening to it. Um... <laughs> Yeah, this is quite funny, actually. Uh, this is a great episode. <laughs> you know, uh, let's let's play a little bit more of it here. Hernandez continued past us up the ramp. Then, a second later, something happened that changed us in a very deep and profound way from that day forward. What was it? He spit on us. <laughs> and I screamed out, I'm it! <laughs> then... I turned, and the spit ricocheted off him, and it hit me. Wow. What a story. Yeah. Unfortunately, the immutable laws of physics contradict the whole premise of your account. Allow me to reconstruct this, if I may, for Miss Bennis, as I've heard this story a number of times. Newman, Kramer, if you'll indulge me. According to your story... 
I won't play any more of it. I have seen it myself, but I'll put the link in the... Well, you can find it in the comment section, but it is a hilarious... Uh, a lot of things on Seinfeld were very funny. I'm trying to think of my favorite episode. I'm not sure. There's a lot that are really funny. I think it's the one where George decides to do the reverse of everything he was doing before, and he turns out really successful. Let's go to the next question. Thank you for that, Tom. Tom. Tina, Tina J here says, Howdy Ed, just watched this video on YouTube, nice one. Did you hear that some of the details are coming out about the three-year-old boy that was in the Muslim camp there in New Mexico? He was abused as all of the children were and had epilepsy, no meds. It's terrible. <laughs> it is terrible, I mean... Well, epilepsy is a serious, can be a serious uh, illness, you know, uh, you know, for people that don't have the meds and don't have, like, people there. I went to school with someone with bad epilepsy, and they told the class, you know, the first day, that if they ever fainted or, you know, fell down or whatever, they had really bad. I mean, it was, um, you know, the worst I've ever heard of is multiple seizures a day. But they would lose consciousness about where they were. So when that happened... You know, um, really just to lay them down and go through all that, but it is, a, it is a serious one. Apparently, they all knew he was dying. His heart stopped beating numerous times, but they let him die and made the other children take care of his body. Too bad Mex New Mexico does not have the death penalty. I heard that they sacrificed him, but... Um, you know, what can you say about it? I mean, the kids three, they do that, and then they're training with all the weaponry, act, and, you know, all these kinds of things, and uh, the police don't even search the compound, really. They just bulldoze it. Thank you, Tina J. Simon Matthews here. Aha! I love you take on the videos, and the one regarding the aliens is true, for we do experiments on them, too. If aliens ever came to see our society, I have would hazard a guess that they would have a hasty retreat and never return. Maybe. A lot of people believe they're visiting right now. Actually, there's a lot of people, obviously. I said I'm about 80% believer. I don't know 100%. But, um, yeah, who knows with aliens? I'm still waiting for them to pull out Project Bluebeam. When are they going to pull that out? Well, thank you for all those questions. I think I got them all there. Um, don't see any other ones. That's about it, I guess. Sorry for this video. This was an embarrassing video. I mean, what is this about? Let's have a look. Look, I have a flat tire. I shouldn't have bought uh, broccoli. I have a flat tire. I should have bought it's not broccoli, that is um, asparagus. I should have brought asparagus. A spare, I guess. I guess that's what they're saying. <laughs> I have a flat tire, I should have bought a spare, I guess. The Sprite Challenge. Dropped my phone in my McDonald's Sprite and it started charging. I wish that this was the new challenge all the idiots are doing. Looks like fun. Hilarious. I'm funny and I know it. I don't know. There's something wrong with my sense of humor. Maybe those brain cells have died or something. I'm not sure. Thank you so much for your support, everyone. Um, thank you all a lot. Oh, heaps. I really mean it. I wouldn't be able to do this without you. I'm going to try to find some other thread with something more hilarious in it. I don't want to pre-read what's in there, otherwise I already know what's in there, so it's hard to tell if it's a, if it's a hit or a miss, really, isn't it? But, um, yeah, I'll try to get something better next time, which will be the day after tomorrow. In the meantime, though, thank you so much. And this is Ed, of course. <laughs> This is Ed. Thank you so much for your support. Make sure to stay safe and I'll see you all later.